qualities of a great mid tower. There are quite a few, and while trends and preferences have changed over the years, there are staple attributes that I always look for in a mid tower, uh, which is one of the most popular form factors around. That's why we're focusing on that form factor in this video. So when Be Quiet reached out about sponsoring an informative video for case hunters, I knew that we needed the PureBase 500DX as our centerpiece. Be Quiet's done a great job refining the shape while keeping functionality at the forefront. And that's no small feat. Cases that break from the status quo are a dime a dozen nowadays, but many either forget the fundamentals or charge ridiculous sums of cash for those changes. Now the 500DX isn't perfect. And yes, I'm saying that in a video that is sponsored by the company that makes it. No case, in my opinion, is perfect. The key, however, is finding the case with the fewest number of compromises for X amount of dollars. And that isn't always easy, especially when you're looking at pictures and video on a screen. But there are a few things to look out for that will either improve your building experience or maximize system potential. Let's discuss those now. And to get an obvious one out of the way up front, how about Front IO, this is something you can almost always confirm via the product page, which is helpful. You don't need to buy the product to figure out if it's you know, compatible with whatever peripherals you want to attach to it. Does a case come with one or two USB 3 ports, for example? Does it come with a Type-C port? The 500DX may be short on the former, but the inclusion of where is that Type-C port? Yep, that right there is always nice in this price range. Now, for those who use headsets, you may also want to know whether a case has a unified microphone or headphone jack, or if it's split like it is in here. And I prefer it like this because a lot of headphones that I tend to use uh, with mic support have it split. Now you can buy little adapters, but still, it's nice to know if you need the adapter in the first place. Next up, let's talk internals. I like mid towers with full length basements and dedicated cutouts for 360 mil rads. This is usually the vertical limit for mid towers like the 500DX, but it ensures maximum hardware and cooling support. Just keep in mind that this may also interfere with any hard drive cage. And to that effect, having one with different mounting locations is especially important. Another attribute I look for in mid-towers, in the $100 price range especially, is a solid fan array. The 500DX ships with three 140mm Pure Wings 2 fans, which is pretty freaking awesome. What many builders tend to do is toss out the stock case fans and replace them with premium ones at often premium prices. But Pure Wings 2 fans are in fact solid in their own right, and the 140mm form factor helps keep sound to a minimum under load. Another thing I love about the 500DX is 140mm fan support at the rear for a sweet exhaust fan uh, that does not get very loud because of its larger form factor. So buying a case at this price point with quality fans baked in can help offset budget constraints and free up cash for other important components. When I'm building a PC, it becomes really frustrating when a right panel won't fit properly on account of bunched up cables with nowhere to go. And the culprit is often dimensional, which means there's no simple remedy unless you do some heavy case mods and nobody wants to do that unless they're doing something crazy intentionally. I'm serious, some of the best cable routers in the world could not manage with some of the cases we've come across in the past. And it just comes down to a few centimeters at best. Now, for instance, the 500DX, right, offers bountiful buffers between the motherboard tray, again, this piece right here, and the right side panel, meaning you could run your 24 pin, your VGA, your EPS cables behind here with ease. This quality is especially important in more compact mid towers where storage capacity from a front to back perspective is often constrained when a hard drive cage uh, is installed. So you don't have much space to stow the extra cables in front of the power supply. And where the 500DX may not have much space from here to here, it has plenty of it from here to here. Huh. Is, is that even in frame? You know what I mean. Now the last and perhaps most important quality of a great mid tower, I think we can all agree on this one, is airflow. It's become a hot topic as of late and for good reason, hot boxes can and do affect performance. Here's a quick example. With completely sealed front and top panels, I used aluminum foil if you're wondering, the 500DX only has room to breathe at the rear where only one fan can be mounted. As a result, our Core i9-9900K managed to thermal throttle by around 5%. That's a 5% reduction in core frequency at a package temp of 95 degrees Celsius. Granted, this cooler isn't ideal for a chip with such a high TDP, but you can see how much better things fared when the system was allowed to breathe. The 500DX sports full mesh front and top panels with tasteful RGB integration, and the faster you can displace air, the faster you can move heat away from the sources, which is why this kind of setup is so advantageous. I tend to look for cases with either a fully meshed front panel or a fully meshed top one. You can usually extract the full potential out of either, though a case that has both 
didn't hurt anybody. So while, like I said, the 500DX isn't perfect, it certainly exemplifies several quality traits of a mid-tower, which is why I thought it would make for a great model in this video. Big thanks to Be Quiet for sponsoring this one. You can find relevant links, including where to buy this case right here down below. And with that, consider clicking the like button and subscribing. I will catch you in the next one. My name's Greg. Thanks for learning with me.